Okay, here's one small project for the evening. I have a new YPAC license plate light to replace this, which did actually have one functioning bulb in it. That one. Only because somebody managed to shove that ground wire underneath what was left of that. So it had one barely functional light. Still need to get the old binnacle off. But man, that's rusty. So, just goes to show you the type of stuff you deal with with an old Land Rover. So here's the Y-Pack light, which just has a couple of wires come out of it. I'm gonna assume white's for hot. There's my hole. If you see one of those, the bolt hole was corroded out and opened up a little bit. Not super flat. This one's more normal looking. And uh, the wires will definitely fit through there. But I might tap that a little flat. And then uh, I basically need to bolt this together. So I gotta go find some small nut and bolt combo that'll work for it. Then the cover screws onto it afterwards. Um, inside, I've got a bunch of old wiring. Uh, look at this fun stuff, right? It's dirty, there's a mess of it. There's that weird... Europeans love this. Like, absolutely love these little terminal block strips. See them all over the place. But, uh, yeah, the wires were all shoved in there. And see that rusty screw on the top, second to the right? Uh, the power was tied into all that, and it was just screwed down. So I could clean that up, and I could do some uh, spade connectors or something. I could make this all better, but I think for now I'm just going to get it screwed back down under that terminal block because I am on planning on touching this later and redoing the uh, all the other indicator lights with LEDs and I can clean this up a little bit better then but this is dirty and old this stuff's been here a while what a mess old Land Rover you know always something to work on so anyways let me uh, go find those and try to get that this new one mounted Okay, I've got it mounted. Uh, I ended up with a couple of, uh, I think, 1032 stainless steel screws, uh, Phillips screws with a stainless nut and some non-stainless washers to help uh, make up that space there. Uh, overall, not too bad of a solution. I had them around. I didn't have to go drive and find something. Um, I would have preferred metric because now you look at them and you go, okay... What size is that nut? Oh, is that a 10 millimeter? No, no, it's not a 10 millimeter. That's a 3 8 And it's not a 7 16 slash 11 millimeter. It's a 3 8 So you got to go find 3 8 So anybody in the future is going to be like, oh, what an oddball size. It's not metric. be nice if it's just a 10 millimeter, right? The other thing I would like to do, and I think I'm going to replace these metal panels so I get one without holes. And I can uh, see I got like holes for, for a grill down there. I think I'm going to replace this rear panel so I can do the round, the larger round lights back here for the fog and figure out exactly what I'm going to do. Um, but if I did that, I'd go through and I'd put stainless steel nut certs in for these locations so you can run in, you know, some small metric stainless steel bolt with a stainless steel nut cert and it would all work out really nicely and you wouldn't have stuff that's rusted stuck and it rips out that hole like that. So... Hey, it's mounted at least. Might see some of that old paint under there. But it's mounted. Let me get the wiring hooked up. Uh, so it's not working. You can see this light's on. And nothing out of that light. So it's an LED. I checked the, where the wires are landed. They are getting power. I do have 12 volt. Uh, I assumed the white was hot and the brown was negative. Maybe that was wrong. I have no idea. Other hots on this have been white, brown, browns like the ground, like the earth. I don't know, whatever. I said white was hot. Now, this is different. German vehicles tend to have brown as hot and blue as ground. Maybe this is halfway like a German vehicle on the light. Whatever, there's only two ways to wire it up. I'm going to go swap it and see if I fix it. Well, would you look at that? It's working. Yeah, as it turns out, white was ground and uh, brown was positive. It's backwards from what I thought. Anyways, 50-50 shot. I got it wrong the first try, of course. But, hey, it's in. It's
it's working. All right, some of you are probably going, the fool, he didn't read the instructions. Okay, there are no instructions. There was no paper other than this that came on it. Okay, it says screw provided. You might be wondering, why did I use other screws? Look at that. Look, there's like three quarters of an inch of unthreaded space. How am I supposed to use that? Right? I don't, I don't get that. That screw I'll use to hold it on. Do they want me to use this? They want me to use this spacer, don't they? I bet they want me to use that space. That would be, look at those long screws. What do you think? I bet I'm doing it wrong. See, I'm learning something. See, they need to give me instructions so I know how this works and what, what colors are what. Not just a box with a part in it and some screws. Although if they had instructions, I wouldn't have read it and I would have done this anyway. But at least I could say... At least now I can say they didn't give me instructions. It's not my fault. And I, and I, and I screwed that up. I don't even need those stainless screws I found. They're going to be too short now. I'll have to find longer ones. I'll have to use these. Instructions. That would be nice. There's no instructions. But I don't read them anyway. Except for now. Now I'd read them. Okay. Back to the drawing board. Oh, and it, and it, and it is working. Because I figured out the wires was 50-50 and I was wrong. You know, 50-50 chance and I'm wrong the first time. Let me add that back in. Okay. There. It's installed. With the, with the standoff thing. I tell you, it's always the small stuff that gets you. The one bolt over here from this old one was just rusted up solid, and I had to take the angle grinder to it with a cutoff wheel and notch the head and get it through. And I, I mean, that took more time than, than, than putting everything together. So, but, hey, look. I've got light. Let there be light. And I did end up using one of those washers I had because that big hole on the uh, left side of the vehicle there was kind of ripped out. Plus the washers it came with. Rewired it into that old mess of wiring. It's there. You can see a little red paint because it's not exactly lined up because nobody bothered to remove this when they repainted it. And uh, there's a screw cap down here I can put in. So I'm not quite done. Let's see if I can drop this out in the driveway. Never find it again. I guess that's popped in. It doesn't sit real flush. Doesn't want to go in further. See, if I lost that, look at all that dirt specks down there. I'd never find it. Okay, it's in. I've got a new license plate light that lights up everything. Oi. Little things, man. Even little things take a lot of time. Alright, thanks for watching.